probably seen some of my funny videos about the uh, Husqvarna Automower 450X. Today, a little bit more serious note. I've uh, been asked a lot of questions uh, by email, in person. Uh, friends of mine have asked me. So today I'm going to do a little video on the serious side about it. I'm going to tell some of the features of it and uh, answer some of your questions, hopefully. Yeah, it does stay out all the time. It, uh, the docking uh, charging station is in my backyard. Um, it goes to it automatically to charge up and it parks itself there. Uh, now people say, well, aren't you worried about it getting ripped off, or stolen, or whatever? Um, it has basically a three level alarm system in it. Um, it has GPS built into it. It has a cellular uh, data system built into it. Um, it's basically got a load jack system built into it. Even if it gets stolen, it will tell me where it's at. Uh, on the app, on the phone or iPad, it'll actually show me uh, where it's at. Uh, even if it's shut off, it doesn't matter. It still will uh, send data and through the cellular system, with its location, and so forth. Okay, so here's your charging blades. They go into the uh, contactor on the docking station. Um, that's what charges the batteries. You got your headlights. Um, you can turn them off, you can leave them on. Uh, some people like to uh, leave them off at night. If you happen to be mowing at night, yes, it's capable of mowing at night. Um, they like to leave them off. Uh, so prowlers or whatever don't see the mower in that use. Um, that's up to you what you want to do. Um, see, these are the two ultrasonic forward facing sensors. What they do is, if it senses an object in front of it, it will basically slow the mower down to about half its normal cutting speed. So if it does strike something, it's not hitting it at a full speed and causing damage to the mower. So it basically slows it down uh, when it's approaching something. Okay, let's talk about the underneath and the uh, operation of it when it's actually cutting your grass um, as you'll notice it's completely different than your typical push mower um, there's no single blade uh, to spin basically you have two discs you have the bottom disc this is, acts as a skid plate it acts as a flywheel um, very high efficient and it doesn't carry the force of a typical lawnmower blade. That's for safety purposes, uh, to protect anything that it would happen to strike. Um, anything can stop this. And yet it takes no energy to spin it. There's three razor blades on this inside wheel here. And they are come out by centrifugal, centrifugal force. In other words, the there you can see one, barely sticks out maybe uh, about a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch past the bottom blade. And if anything strikes it, it just tilts right back into the uh, blade. So you can see it's spinning. The blades are coming out on the bottom, but yet my finger is perfectly fine. Because as soon as the blade hits, it spins back behind itself. They're not locked in place. Very safe. Uh, I can't emphasize how safe uh, this is, but it still does the job with low energy usage. Um, cuts the grass, maintains it. Okay. Now. Once you stop it, you have about 15 20 seconds to enter a passcode if you don't enter the passcode it starts chirping at the end of that chirp the alarm goes off and if you enter the, the passcode it'll shut off it'll tell you it'll alert your phone when the alarm goes off press start to continue if i press start close the lid it'll chirp five times and it's take off 
pretty much all the uh, configuring and controlling I actually do from the app on my iPhone. Um, all the settings are pretty much accessible there. Um, but the only basically button to start and stop and park that's and uh, it'll alert you if something happens if it gets if it gets stuck or whatever it'll try to get its way out for a little while and then it will just turn itself off and wait till you to come out and reset it okay here's a look at the app um, it gives you its status uh, you can park it push park it'll go back to its charging station and it'll stay there until you uh, restart it if you stop it'll just stop where it's at this is a geofence basically is around from that area that shows you where it's at right now at this exact moment um, if I want to see where it's been I click on this it gives me a little print out of where exactly it's been in my yard um, all the areas it's cut and a constant update of where it is in the yard you can also go to settings uh, you got your cutting height you get it's adjustable about nine different settings um, weather timer that's if uh, you want to reduce the cutting time based on the weather if the grass is not growing that fast because it's been dry or whatever the case may be um, accessories uh, it's your headlight uh, you can set you know when you want you want it always on evening only evening and night are always off timer that's where uh, you set the days you wanted to cut uh, Monday through Sunday uh, you take it off or you can adjust it set the hours wherever you want them to and just that easy Right now it's in a mode uh, spiral cutting. Uh, basically it sensed the grass was a little higher than most places, a little thicker right here. So it went into the spiral cutting mode. It basically just keeps cutting in a spiral until it hits something. The spiral gets bigger and bigger until it either hits a boundary wire or an object. Okay, I hope I've answered some of your questions uh, on the specifications of the Husqvarna Automower 450X. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and post any more questions you have in the comments and I'll try to answer them in the next video. Thanks for watching.